I recently made a uh, Ventoy related uh, YouTube videos um, but both of those uh, videos are uh, with uh, UEFI BIOS enabled um, uh, machine also I uh, used a uh, script uh, SH file uh, on a terminal uh, but this time what I will do is demonstrate it on legacy BIOS uh, machine this is HP uh, DC 7900 uh, 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 desktop uh, uh, running Jamie Pup 32 Although it is a 64-bit machine, I am running Jamie Pup32 uh, with a 4 gig of RAM. So, but first, uh, what we'll do is uh, demonstrate uh, how to uh, download. Uh, as of today, in May uh, 5th of uh, uh, 2023, it's important to recognize that if you are coming from uh, Windows or Mac and you want to try Puppy Linux, um, the the DD command, uh, uh, that's the usual terminal command to install and make a, a installable disk may not work in some uh, Puppy Linux ISOs. And similarly in Ventoy, uh, some of the Puppy Linux uh, uh, ISOs uh, may work uh, on Ventoy and it's, uh, I think it should be very helpful to re re uh, recognize that some, the which ones may work. So if you have a Windows, for example, you need to uh, download and install this file. Um, but uh, if you're coming from the Linux side, what you need to do is download this. So I've already downloaded, and I'll leave a link in the description of the uh, of the site. That way, you need to uh, uh, go to download. So now, once you've downloaded Ventoy, uh, here's my downloaded uh, downloads uh, folder. Uh, all you need to do is right-click and extract and then uh, you'll end up with a folder here and you click within the folder and then you have several choices because I'm using a 32-bit uh, uh, a puppy Linux what I need to do is uh, a GUI i386 uh, but usually in a more modern mach uh, machine you can use a x86-64 uh, so I'll go ahead and use this and then I actually have the uh, uh, Ventoy stick which is partitioned two different partitions already here it recognize that this is the USB drive and you have to make sure that you do pick a, a correct uh, a flash drive here and then it also recognizes that there uh, the Ventoy uh, is a uh, same uh, Ventoy, more most recent uh, Ventoy. But if you use the uh, Ventoy, older Ventoy, you'll also upgrade it. So I'll just go ahead and update it, although it's same uh, number Ventoy. So it's installing the Ventoy now into the folder. So it's uh, it's all done. And then if I open the first partition, um, it didn't erase all the uh, ISOs uh, because uh, despite the uh, same uh, version update. But uh, with you, if you just use the fresh USB stick, you'll have empty ISO here. And what you have to do is uh, download a uh, Puppy Linux that you want to install. So, and then you uh, put them in this first partition and you will actually end up having this. And then after you, uh, what you need to do is after it uh, completes, uh, uh, it's uh, copying the files, you just unmount it and then you use that stick to uh, boot into. So, of uh, May of uh, 2023 the uh, Ventoy only supports 
uh, several uh, of uh, a puppy Linux ISOs on uh, booting up. So you want to make sure that you pick one of these uh, ISOs with a plus sign so that it then it will it should boot on your uh, legacy BIOS machine without any difficulty with the subsequent uh, installation it, uh, into the hard drive if you wish. So um, for new users I think it's important that uh, you recognize uh, some uh, Puppy Linux ISOs will not let you install and use the uh, Ventoy USB stick. So I hope this is helpful and uh, hopefully with a frequent uh, update of Ventoy uh, uh, application that more will be supported. But uh, this is the uh, situation as of uh, uh, today. Um, for my uh, uh, suggestion, I, w I would go ahead and uh, for 64-bit machines, you may want to try the FOSSA PUP 64-9.5 ISO. And for 32-bit uh, uh, machines, uh, Bionic PUP 32 uh, uh, 19.03 ISO is a very reasonable uh, uh, ISO to start. So that's it for today. Thanks.